Hi guys, welcome back. So we're back with another video and I believe this is actually the last sketchbook that I will ever do on my channel because well I've just run out of sketchbooks. So if you if it's the first time you've seen me, I do sketchbooks from college, university, sixth form, GCSE, all the way up until I basically ran out. And this one is the second part of my Bath College final year. So we're just gonna go through it basically. And I don't know if you knew the struggle from the first video, but basically this sketchbook is A2 size and I've had to adjust my studio to be able to film this. So you're currently on the floor and you will see my feet whilst I turn the pages because it is that big, <laughs> but we'll just have to deal with it. So without further ado, let's get on to my last sketchbook. But don't worry, there will be some other videos like this in the future. I will go on a bit, I will tell you about it when I am finished with this one. So I don't have to worry about it. So number two. So back with our negative space and how we are trying to translate the last idea into something, well, into a final idea, basically. It looks like it's acrylic paint. I do like the marks and the negative space in between there. Reminds me a lot of me, um, I did a, a negative drawing of some parsley where I drew the space in between it rather than the actual plant and it turned out really, really well actually. And this just gave me similar vibes. So I think I was just trying to experiment a bit more with all the spaces in between. sketches I actually remember doing these when I think I went to London or something and I was just drawing people on the train and just from random sketches of people on the street I always liked a bit of collage with all little bits that we collected oh, I mean it's even got a date the 30th of March did I really spend 12 pound Images, more drawings, British Museum, some sketches of it as well. I always like this technique of they're like lots of little lines, but some of them are like either thick or dead short to use. Some more photographs I took in an artist's research, and some really lovely aesthetic artist page you can definitely tell the bigger the sketchbook the better visually my thinking process was I don't know why I kind of well I know why <laughs> I would have gone down back down to A4 rather than A2 probably because of cost because these sketchbooks actually cost about £22 at the time I remember my mum having to buy me one and she was like how much but I was like it's so good though mum and I'll film it and I'll look after it and stuff the quality is definitely there because I take I'm not rushing because you can put four pages worth onto a page and it connects so much better. Boom. Photoshop starts. Some more paintings and drawing. Oil pastel. I've actually recently got back into oil pastel because I've realised how obsessed I am with it. And some oil, I believe it's oil paint. Then I've included some of the tickets on top of a abstracted image of what looks like Oxford Street. Some more. Pieces of work, our pastel, just changing the compositions using some wire. Well, these are photographs, pieces of work that I did. Artist research. 
got some blank pages. <laughs> well, this is research. Got some perspex. With some of my drawings that I had from my previous pictures, from my previous picture, from my previous drawings right at the start. Looks like I'm starting to layer them up and do something with them. My pages, some more perspex, which I've just blown up the drawings from the first lot of sketches into whatever this is. I believe this, oh this below is actually a screen print. So that's the edited image which I put on a screen, which I put on Perspex which you can see where I've scratched that out. And then I've actually done a screen print onto paper using the real film of it and then drew on top of it and then put on top the Perspex drawings. I believe that's the actual perspex that I was using. Another perspex. So it's nice to know that I still have the perspex to use if I want to ever go back into screen printing because what you do with this is that you use a chemical and you expose this on top of it once the chemical it's like a bit like paste and once it's exposed you wash it out and then what is left over you will press using certain types of paint and it will transfer onto the paper but that's not the whole premise of it but that's the basics of what I can remember back in the day some more that is really lovely to look at Group of three people. 141, that's actually one of the sketches. But it's not my actual final piece. And I've got, I believe these ones are from Bristol because I remember there being pigeons and a purse and people. So I might be intertwining that. Yeah, so that's the one. Yeah, so these are some of the ones that I've got, well, that I worked with. Uh, these are the screen prints originally, and then I've put a screen print on top of it of the drawings in different colours and shades. And then I tried the massive negative bit on top of it. And you can see where I've gone really black. But because it's perspex, you can also lie it on top, which gives you a sense of what it's going to look like. On here, I've done purple and then white. On here I've done blue with all the different types of colours I've got with it as well. And then I have the outcomes. So I've got four here. I wish the images were better <laughs> because they really don't do it justice. I still have these though. They were so happy that I actually have two frames with me, so I'll just get them out now. So on the far left, this is the one that we have. Might as well go out with a bang with all my sketchbooks. Hopefully the reflection isn't too bad, but that is the... This print here is that print there, which is just... I mean, I've got six prints out of it and I still have the perspex, so I can go back and reprint and mass print and do something with printing again but it's just nice to still have the original artwork artwork with me because it's so nice to look at it's one of those ones that I would love to put up in my house right now but I don't have the space for it and if I don't have the space for it it means I can't appreciate it I'll show you quickly show you the other one as well these aren't for sale the original six because they are just too precious to me so this one you can't actually see it within these four photos but this is another that I use with the pigeon 
image. you breathe that in for a sec <laughs> they're so aesthetically pleasing i just love all the layers and because it's all contrasting together i know it's got like bits of plaster on top but that's fine because <laughs> there's a perfect sheet there as well to protect it you've got bits of oil pastel you've got bits of oil paint you've got the screen prints you've well you've got original screen print you've got the screen print on top you've also got pencil drawings on top that you couldn't actually necessarily see before that one Point four one is definitely always in there and then we've also got the backdrops as well as um, just a lovely frame to frame it so I can't think of a better way to finish this video than showing you two of the six original prints in their frames where they belong because they belong out in the world to be seen however I feel I feel like if I sold them I wouldn't be able to forgive myself so they're gonna be mine for all the rest of my life I think what I'll say for now, guys, uh, like I said before, this is the last sketchbook of my collection. I would love to be doing some more sketchbooks. I think it's one of those ones I'm going to have to prioritise and actually go out and buy myself a sketchbook, do some artist research and actually plan everything that I'm doing because it actually helps. Saying that, doing a verbal sketchbook as well is helpful as well. Like this YouTube channel is technically my verbal sketchbook, but it's also nice to be able to look back on things because there's a lot of artwork that I like miniature and I feel like they're just going to get lost but they're still relevant to all my practices so they deserve to be presented in a lovely way because this is my last sketchbook. Don't worry, there will be once a week a artist talk on my channel of some artworks I've done in the past. I used to do them quite a while ago where I just dropped in with an artwork and went, oh, I'm doing this, da 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 or I've done a painting, or I looked back at some paintings as well. But I actually do have quite a lot of large drawings and paintings and all other types of artwork that are sitting in folders that I do believe need to see the light of day because if I could talk them through them, if I talk through them, it might stimulate something and it's nice to have a conversation, just to have a bit of different practicality to my channel as well because obviously you've got my two 30 minute videos that I do on Monday, Tuesday and Thursdays and normally like to do a vlog or something to do with not just my art life but also my outside life because that's not what I'm completely as a person. I also do a bit of music, I also do gardening, I also love travel, that kind of genre of, of person and on Friday I like to be, it to be just like a sit down, talk through what's going on, what sort of type of artwork we're going to be chatting about today because I'm pretty sure I've got enough to last me years <laughs> but on that note guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and don't forget to comment down below what you thought also in my description box are links to my social medias and also my ebay channel account which is where you'll find all my artworks i feature on my channel as well as a couple of extras there's also a paypal donation page if you'd like to make a, if you would like to make a donation please do it really does help if you can't, just like and subscribe because it just brings me just that little bit closer to financial free to financial freedom. But in the meantime, thanks again. I'll see you guys later.